ready to go live. Cool. Wow. Loads of people there already. What's happening, guys? It's Kibla Ahmed out here. I hope you guys are well. Big shout out to the guys at Punch Records and Gallery 37 for putting this together and getting me on the on, on, on this show so I can uh, teach you guys a great masterclass on digital illustration and in comic books, guys, because that's my field. It's what I love. It's, it's what I've been doing for such a long, long time. Uh, but it's tips and tricks. I'm going to tell you what inspires me. You're gonna, I'm going to tell you what I go through on a daily basis when it comes to practicing as well. But I'm going to show you the tools that I use and kind of go from there guys i mean today as you know it's a two hour stream it's going to go on for about an hour and a half hour 45 and then we're going to do a q a session and i'm going to introduce myself again for people that are probably coming on right now but i have been doing digital illustrations for as long as i know but i've been doing artwork for my whole life uh, and that's what uh, has kept me pushing through to get this done so uh, I'm going to wait to see if there is more people coming. Stream makers time. Here we go. Cool. Uh, see a few more people to, to pop through and uh, let me see the count go up. it would be interesting to see how many people actually join. Uh, exciting. But guys, I want to... So I had so much comments before this and it's been overwhelming. So I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to be nervous. I'm going to get tongue tied. I'm going to say all sorts of stuff, but please keep keep up with it. Ah, oh, awesome. What's happening, Ijaz? Hope you're all right. Uh, but yeah, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn to my screen and I'm going to show you guys some of my artwork. And hopefully you guys get to see my face as well. Here we go, transition. So... Here we go guys, hopefully that will come through and you guys will get to see some of my artwork. So guys, uh, as you guys have probably read with all the posts that went out over social media, uh, I have been doing artwork for 10 years but I've been doing it my whole life. Uh, digital artwork I got into when I started doing photography, learning more about Photoshop uh, and Illustrator and I kind of went from there. Oh, bless you, man. Oh, don't be nervous. Uh, hopefully, with what I kind of put up on here, you guys get to see uh, the process. That's that's the main thing, is to teach you guys, to inspire you, to motivate you guys. But yeah, as I was saying, more than 10 years, I've been doing digital artwork a lot more recently. And I wanted to go through the types of tools that I use when it comes to doing digital artwork. So I've been doing... It on my Cintiq, which is this massive tablet. Uh, if I could show you guys, that'd be awesome. And I use Photoshop, I use Illustrator, and I use an iPad as well, guys, for my digital artwork. So the iPad has opened up the world to all artists to carry something with them. I mean, before I used to carry a little notebook where I did all my sketches, which I still do, without a doubt, I always keep a notepad in my bag, a blank one, and I get to do my artwork on there. And if I have any ideas, I'll always keep them noted and, and always push them through on that side. Let's transition in, in, into the notebook because the notebook's actually quite important. It's something I'd, I'd, I'd say any artist, anybody who's interested in art is to carry maybe their, their, their iPad with them or keep a notebook or a blank pad with them where they get the you get an idea suddenly. You'd be, you'd be in the middle of nowhere. I mean, currently we're not going nowhere, but you know, I had days where I could go out and then suddenly have an idea and pop it into here. So it's a couple of sketches to go, to go through, but I've, I haven't finished this sketchbook yet, but I've got a couple of sketchbooks. It's something that I, I keep with me and I'm always drawing. It's, it's, it's really important. It's, it's quite close to me. It's, uh, it's where all your ideas and Everything that you manifest in your head is, is, is coming out on here and it's, and it's so important uh, to have your ideas written down because what could happen is, you know, you don't have something there to put your idea down on and then suddenly you've lost it and you forgot about it. What's happening, David? How's it going, Kelly? You all right? Brad? Awesome. 
Thanks for joining in, guys, so far. You guys are awesome. Guys, remember, Q&A session. About 7.30, 7.45, we'll jump into that. But notepad or an iPad. Keep If you keep it with you with a pencil or, in a, you know, you get all your ideas out, it's awesome. There we go. All right, let's get back to the art screen so I guys can show you some art. There we go. So the, these these art pieces were done on my iPad. So I just wanted to share it with you guys just to show you how powerful that little device is. And with a bit of time and practice, I know for me it was a, a very hard transition from moving to paper to pencil to a digital tablet. Uh, but now I've seen the benefits of it. And when I read comic books, when I watch the comic book movies, and I see how colorful and punchy, and I'm like, how do I implement that into my artwork? And having a, a, a brief knowledge of Photoshop, which I'm gonna show you guys, because I do most of my artwork in Photoshop, on how much it's impacted on my artwork and how, how much better it's got, to be honest. It's made me take much more time with my artwork. It's made me schedule my artwork so I have time to put a piece together and layering just helps so much. Mind Lander. Looking forward to this, bro. Oh, thank you, guys. So let's keep up with this chat because I know it's going to grow. All right, cool. That's, that was the first piece. Let's jump into, this is a, a another piece that I absolutely love. And again, guys, most of this, except the Superman one, was done on an iPad. And that's a seventh gen iPad with an Apple Pencil. And it's an app called Procreate, which works exactly like how Photoshop works, really. It gives you layers, it gives you good colors, and... It gives you good brushes as well. I've really enjoyed drawing on the iPad. It's it's been one of my it's been one of my 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 fun tools to use. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cool. All right. So that was that. Let's come out of here. All right. I'm gonna go on to gestures guys gestures are so important when it comes to getting your ideas on a piece of paper or when you're getting it into photoshop and it's so crucial to have this sorry guys just getting this working uh it's so crucial to have gesture drawings because it helps so much when it comes to actually laying out the image you want to get done it's so important to know the space that you're working with so that you could get your images right. So it's just a few just the drawings of people running, posing, jumping, uh, doing their superhero stuff, basically. Uh, but really easy sketch lines. So something easy to, to go through. I'm going to quickly let me open up a new page so you guys can see what I do just to. Guys, really important information when you're opening up a new file, a new page, is to make it is to make sure that you've got the right pixels going on. It's so important to get that because if you haven't got the right pixels, you're going to notice your 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 image is really blurry. So you want to have it at least at 300 DPI. Uh, you're looking at an A4 size or 8 by 10 inches, and making sure that you're always double checking the brushes you're using as well. The brushes are important. Brushes will give you fluid, fluid motion in your artwork. So let's, uh, let's get this. And I'm just going to give you some practice tips guys, because this really helped me when I moved from paper to digital tablet. So lines, it's so important to get your lines straight and getting your line, lines done. And it's, once you do that, you're going to notice that you're going to get smooth lines all the time. So I, I, will, I was putting in almost 20 to 30 minutes a day on just doing lines. And 
Actually, they, they came out pretty good. I'm, I'm actually quite shocked that came out really well. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, remember, lines is so important, guys. Let's open up another page. The color. Oh, which, uh, you got you got to wait to the end to see all the colors. Uh, that's the most important part. Uh, but let me show you. So what I do, I always put everything in layers, guys. So hopefully you guys can get to see what I'm doing in my layers, which is at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. If you're watching, that's right. You're going to be able to see the layers that I use. So if I've done one layer and... To be specific and something for you guys to always remember is to always label your layers because that's when it gets confusing. Once you get past 20, you want to be labeling your layers because you don't want to go back to try and fix a mistake and realize you have to go through more than 100 layers. It's such a crucial part to always name your layers. And that's in Photoshop and you can do that in Procreate on the iPad as well, which is, which is very important. So... Gestures. Let's uh So I picked a light color guys and I've made a new layer. I am gonna just do a quick gesture pose, something straightforward. And hopefully you guys can see the line work that I'm doing on here. So it looks quite scribbly right now, but I am trying to understand how much of the page I'm gonna use. Alright. I would say as well guys, uh if you get the chance, when you're practicing, always copy and that's how much I learnt. My my inspiration to art was from my uncle. It's my dad's youngest brother. I grew up with him, he's almost like my older brother, and the one thing he told me to do was when it comes to practicing is to, to copy, trace, uh understand the human body and just practice 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 and i don't know it could be mundane to do that it is so important that you get the chance to understand the body in different uh formation and dynamic poses it is so important for you know to you when you're doing a gesture drawing to to get those key elements that you want to get involved in and hopefully you end up coming up with an image where you can be really excited about it. so I've realized I've gone out of the page a little bit but I am just getting into this so you can see pose head structures guys lines I'm always using lines it's so important this will give you almost like perception so you can kind of see your view of what you of what you want. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go. Cannot wait to see the color. Here. Do you use a drawing tablet when you do Photoshop, or you're using this on your laptop with a trackpad? Okay, so is that for F Frida? I'm actually using a Wacom Cintiq 22 inch with a pen. It's got touch on it as well. You know what? I'm gonna see. If I can show you guys, hold up. Let's make this interactive. Guys, apologies if I'm pronouncing names wrong. Uh, here we go, here we go, let's do this. Give me a second guys, I'm gonna transition into a larger screen. Hopefully you guys can get to see my pretty face. And hopefully I've got a bit of leeway to show you the device I'm working with okay excuse the background okay uh, I don't think you'll be able to see that but can you s you probably can see it a little bit it's a it's a massive Wacom tablet uh, it's, it's what all the pros use and it's industry standard stuff guys the the resistance on when you're sketching on it is just absolutely amazing so you can get smaller devices. I've got a Wacom uh, Wacom Mobile Studio Pro, which is about 16 inches, which is quite big and it's reasonable. It's almost like A4 size, which is great. Hopefully that didn't disrupt the connection. Uh, and uh, 
Uh, what's your most favorite piece you've done? David, uh, it's a piece. It's a Batman piece. Here we go again. We're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna show some artwork again. So I'm gonna transition into my beautiful face. Okay. Actually, you know what? And the guy's actually on here. His name's Ahmed. He bought a Superman piece of me when I first got back into doing artwork. And that was you're talking about five, six years ago. Eight about eight years ago when I started to take up art more often and i started on this superman sketch and it's what been one of my favorite pieces and he bought the original so ahmed thank you very much for that dude and he bought the digital one as well so where i digitally color it as well but one of my favorite pieces and it's still here it's an original there we go in a frame a4 size it's one of my favorites is of the dark knight himself batman he's my favorite character he's i think I transition between superheroes, but I always go back to the original, and that's Bruce Wayne as Batman, and it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love this. Uh, Ahmed, which part of the body should I start with to help understand? Which part of the body? I always start with the head, or as you saw in my in my, in my sketch, doing the gesture drawing, I always started with, with the head. It was it's, it's important for me to get that part of, of, of the image right before I kind of move on to the body. I'll always draw a little silhouette or a sketch of the actual body itself. But it's important to get the head first. I've, I've always, I think I've always done that. It's, yeah, it's a massive touch screen, uh, not a computer uh, and a draw. It's a drawing tablet, so it connects to my MacBook. So, uh, with this Cintiq, you can buy a PC to connect to it, so it runs by itself, and you put Photoshop or Pro, uh, excuse me, it's Pro Art Studios, I think it's a Pro Art Studios, Clip Art Studios, which used to be Manga Studios, which you can preload onto the device, and you can use it as a PC if you wanted, but then it's an interactive screen as well. Uh, do, 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 do. Ahmed, you're welcome. Carl, thanks, dude. Uh, create, not destroy. I have the same Wacom as big as yours. It's big and brilliant. Thanks, but they are wicked. Though. I've got to say, for industry standard work, guys, Wacom. You want to head to Wacom. Wacom. Wacom's got great products. Uh, kind of feels like Jim Lee. Yes, David. Exactly that. Caroline, your Dark Knight picture is sick. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cool. We yes, so gesture drawings, guys. That's another thing to really, really keep an eye on. Is uh, your gesture drawings are really important to get the image put together. So you probably guessed. He's probably one of the characters that I've always drawn and I've, and and I've always loved since I've started artwork and my. My uncle introduced me to artwork. So he's one of my inspirations. My uncle is an amazing artist. He's been doing... As soon as I saw him draw, I was like, I want to be able to do that. And he taught me the ways. He told me to practice. He showed me his images. I traced his images and I continued. And yeah, I, 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 I've, I've, I've loved art ever since. And comic book artwork as well. Uh, I still collect to this day and guys so what I'm doing right now is loose gestures so just to help me guide my drawing in the way I want and then you're gonna see what I do with the layers because that's when it comes all together so yes I'm gonna draw my my boy in blue my Superman my favorite character, one of my favorite characters, but it's still Batman. Bruce Wayne still beats it, but I always change depending on what story comes out. Izaj, yeah, that's right. That's that's the best way. Uh, learning the the human autonomy is so important, uh, and it helps so much when it comes to drawing characters that wear spandex all the time. 
it's quite difficult. If you don't know, understand the body or seen, you know, you've got to, you, you're going to visualize that image before you actually pop it onto doing the artwork. It's so important that you get to do that because you don't want it looking out of place. You want it to be very, you want it to be eye catching. So you're going to have your iconic hero like dead in the middle of the page because you want to see how much that character shines so it's so important that you get the layout of the page right that's the main that's the main part your brush guys the brush that you use in photoshop or procreate is another important one as well you you want to be able to have have your own own take on your artwork and this is where trying to find your own style comes into play and it's so important when it comes to doing that as well yeah really important guys that when you pick in the tools that you're using it really helps your artwork flourish more it makes your artwork you know that because you've picked the right brush your artwork's going to come out amazing and as i said at the beginning of this was to practice your line work it's so important and i've realized over the years the more i've practiced on my line work i knew how to do art i love doing paper and pencil drawings working on canvases but when it came to digital art as you saw if I go to this it makes your artwork pop so much and that is just from a I can break this sketch down because you'll see oh wow the background made that stand out if I take the background out and the image by itself I don't know it doesn't give you that pop that you want so finding different types of brushes to work with and different elements to make your artwork push out you're, you're gonna love to bits it's 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 really something that you want to play around with and have fun with uh, with the world of digital you could do so much it's unbelievable you will be you could stay on an image for a whole day and and not know that eight hours have gone by and you're still on the same drawing but because you're having so much fun with it I think that's the element of of digital artwork is that how creative and how fun it is now you you're going to be able to create so much more on a different level it's going to be mad uh i'm currently learning blah 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 Ooh, david my favorite comic book variant cover artist at the moment is shannon mir uh i david let me know which covers they've been doing at the moment so i can see which ones i got in my collection Another thing I was going to say, guys, is remember, keep yourself hydrated. Make sure you're taking regular breaks because remember, you're looking at a 4K screen or you're looking at your iPad or your laptop when you're doing these drawings. You need rest. Your eyes need rest. So sometimes push away from it and uh, take a little two minute break or so, which will help out. Uh, let's go to. This was a piece I did yesterday, guys, and I'm going to get into showing you guys a art piece I'm going to work on. For you guys so you guys can see my process and what i do but this was one i did yesterday i'm actually really proud of this one uh, and i was really excited to share this with you guys if you guys want to see a close-up of this image make sure you check out on uh instagram it's uh kibla ahmed art and uh, it's up on that page as well uh let me see All right, guys, I'm going to get back to this gesture drawing so you guys can see the process of what I'm doing. And I'm going to turn my camera off for a moment just so that you guys can see what I do when I drop another layer on the top. Thank you very much, Gilman. Guys, I, I can't thank you guys enough for all joining in. Uh, it, it, it has been an absolute pleasure. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was nervous 
I was so nervous. Uh, I was telling my little girl and my wife that. Damn, I've, I go on Instagram Live all the time. And now <laughs> I'm doing a, a stream to a whole load of people that are not physically kind of here. So it's, it's a bit of a different world at the moment now that I'm still quite nervous about it. Uh, should I do angry soups? Yeah, let's do an angry soups. Guys, you're going to be talking about style. And oh, style is pretty important. Uh, well, no, actually, you know what? Sorry. You're going to find your own style. And that's always important. Uh, but you're going to replicate other people's work to learn your own way. So it's important that you guys get to practice drawing other people's drawings. I think it's important that you get inspired by other people's artwork and that you take your time and find your niche and what you love doing basically uh, it's so important uh, that you don't want to end up doing a piece that you spent hours on and you literally hate it to bits because you haven't I don't know you just got lost in the moment and, and, and lost the original thought process so Try it and keep it on the drawing. As I said, take regular breaks. Don't uh, don't get stuck on her too long. I would advise, guys, that you guys... Practice drawing eyes, eyebrows, hair, and finding tips and tricks that will, will make your artwork better. I've, I've kind of realized that if I do less lines, I can work the image out in the way I want. Frida, uh, from my knowledge, yes. So you could always come back and check this out. It's going to be on Punch Records page. Uh, but yeah, it, it will be all on there for you, for you guys to check out later on. Uh, create, not destroy. I used to work in the Forbidden Planet years ago in London. My favourite artist was... Okay, cool. Brian Bollard. Uh, sorry, but... Brian... But, uh, was that Boland? Yeah, he's actually really good. Let me just quickly check his work now. I think I know what covers he's done. Uh, Brian Boland. This is pretty cool, guys. I think I'm going to get used to doing this a lot more. British artist. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, cool. He's done some really cool work. Wow. Judge Dredd, Batman, Wonder Woman. He's got a nice catalogue of work that he's done. Awesome. I'll check out more of his work. There you go. Guys from Prunch Records. They're going to put it up later on. I'm going to continue on this Superman little sketch. And I'm going to move on to another drawing, guys, so that you guys get to see more of the process as well. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about my style and what inspired me and an artist that have inspired me like I've already said my uncle played a big part of, of my art my art journey as I was growing up uh, he played a massive part he had a favorite artist himself which was Jim Lee who I got to meet luckily <coughs> excuse me it was early 2020 and it was at the Birds of Prey Birds of Prey premiere so shout outs to the Warner Brothers UK and DC UK Comics for inviting me. That was absolutely awesome. Shout out to the Geeker still as well. Uh, that guy has... Uh, we've had some awesome adventures together uh, because of him. 
I've got to do some really cool stuff in the comic book world and comic book movies as well. So yeah, that was a that was a massive, massive, massive day because I got to. I think it was a Jimmy was there. You got Grant Morrison from DC Comics and Jim Lee. Jim Lee is probably the nineties the best artist in the nineties that came out for for Marvel Comics and. He is a artist and hold up. He's he's how can I get that how that get that wrong? So he's chief officer, chief creative officer at DC Comics, and he still draws batman as well oh there we go did i hopefully i haven't i've got to be careful of what i'm pressing here but yeah so jim lee jim lee todd knock i'm not sure if you guys have heard of todd knock he did uh spider-man he's done some superman comics he's uh, worked for both marvel and dc his artwork inspired me massively when it came to social on, on the social media scene. Uh, his work is just simplistically amazing. Uh, and he has a really good art channel as well, which helped me along my art journey to to to, to, to kind of work on the type of art that I do. I mean, I absolutely love comic book drawing, but I just felt like it came to a point where I found it difficult because my style didn't change. Uh, and over the years, I've had to adapt from moving from paper and pencil to working on digital and that was pretty hard for me guys uh i genuinely didn't like how the technology worked i was probably as much as we love technology it's, it's become a part massive part of the the work we do and creativity when it comes to social media as well if you're a content creator i i just couldn't do it and then i took the plunge guys and here we go I'm doing a digital art class, which is brilliant. It's absolutely awesome. Yes, David, I remember you did see me at Shazam. Let's transition to another scene so you guys don't get to. You don't have to see my pretty face. I will continue drawing this image and so you guys get to see I don't want to bore you too much but layers guys is so important because once I remove that as you can see it's more of a simple like really simple image here yeah. thanks Bradley Sam Harrison, uh, it's really important uh, that you said that. Uh, I genuinely, I've always practiced with Photoshop and you're right, Illustrator will have more brushes and a lot of Illustrators still use. I do use it sometimes. Uh, I just find the features of Photoshop much more easy for me to use uh, because when I used to do photo manipulation, when I used to work for Jessup's, and when I was in photography and videography, uh, I I tend to use Photoshop more often. Uh, I just find it much more of a comfortable. It was an easy transition for me, basically, because I already knew the program. Uh, but I do use Illustrator sometimes when it comes to creating logos, uh, when I'm doing vector files. I just feel like for comic book stuff, for me personally, I've uh, I've really enjoyed using I, I really enjoyed using Photoshop all right guys that is the lines done now I'm gonna jump into dropping some colors which I know some people were excited to see uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a story while I fill this up with colors and guys keep an eye out on the layers because each color will represent a different layer on the image 
uh, and I'm going to talk about that as well. But what I'll do is I'm going to go through a bit of my journey in the in the in the art world as well. Uh, I I've I stepped away from it for a little while. Uh, that was due to some circumstances and 15 years almost. You know, I did I didn't do art for 15 years. I think I stopped when I was 16. I stopped reading comics when I was 16 years old, and and I stopped doing artwork and I just I don't know I didn't enjoy it no more I think it came to a point where other parts of life got a bit more exciting and I lost the love for it but 15 years later on the dot I came running back to it uh, it's been the best part of my life and it's really I don't know it's come full circle like I'm gonna share like my greatest achievements with you guys because I have got to share my artwork over the years online and so you know the the end game is to try and get your front cover or your artwork in the Marvel and DC Universe comic books uh, but for me it was to get the chance to yes show you this pretty face again was this and I'm hoping you guys can get to see that there we go I got it the right way so this is really I hold this quite close to me quite dear to me this was done on an iPad you wouldn't believe it it's a, a storybook for my daughter Alara and it's one of my greatest achievements it's something that i've always wanted to do my own comic book and i've done comic artwork for other people but to have your own stamp on something is so important it's a personal goal so remember guys always have little goals it doesn't have to be a massive one i know you work towards a big goal but for me personally this was a a massive goal for me uh, and for my little girl to have something because at the end of the day we all want to leave a little bit of a legacy uh, and this was important to me so guys check this out this is a uh, Alara it's journey to the moon and it's uh, a book based on my daughter traveling into space and I even got it printed and yeah it's pretty cool I've, I've got to really mess around with backgrounds drawing big borders and just having really f like good fun with it it's not exactly your your comic book superhero stuff but if you see some of the imagery it's, it's just too good it's, it's, it's one of my favorites i love it to bits this is uh us i gave the story away this is when she goes to sleep but she actually dreamt all of it it's all about imagination guys big imaginations keep that big imagination and then even in the the book you see the sketches that i've done the outline sketches which is the the important part to it guys like remember i'd said about gesture drawing if you draw your gesture drawings, you're gonna you're gonna get it. you're gonna get your image right. Hold up, let me grab one. So this is some of the gesture drawings and the ideas that I had on there. So yeah, it's one of my big parts, one of the big things. David, I don't think Jim Lee's left. You know, I think he's still there, from my knowledge. Izaj, uh, hopefully I pronounce it. Ijaz. Hopefully I pronounced that right. And I hope you do create your own comic. It's such a great pleasure to do that. Uh, I've been working on one. But I cannot share at the moment. So I have to keep that under the lid. There's too many NDNA. Uh, was it NDNAs? NDAs? NDAs? Too many things I've signed off that I can't do and say much. So for now it's just a project. But let us get back to the dra the, the drawing. Bradley, thanks, dude. I've never used that, Ijaz. I use Fire Alpaca. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I haven't tried that. Something I should try, though. All right, let's go. We're going to drop some colors on here, guys. So remember what I said about layers? Layers is really important. And guys, always remember, having a good color palette helps out massively. Mm. 
I think we can change the sizing on this. That didn't work out. Let's get down here a bit. Skin tone, skin tone, skin tones. It's one thing you guys are going to learn is uh, colors, guys. Colors are so important. And brush size. Not too big, there we go. Uh, so you guys can use the fill tool if you want to. I am going straight into drawing like I'm coloring in a coloring book. I've always loved this process. I find it relaxing, keeps me calm. We're gonna go through here. Gonna use the rubber. Well, I'm excited to see how this turns out. Here we go, another layer. Let's get that, that royal blue. Brush size. Guys, remember, on the brush size, you can change the, the thickness the the amount of ink that goes on the page as well and the the style of the brush as well so that's as i said before and i keep stressing make sure you guys have that planned out that you've got the right brushes you guys want to use when it comes to sketching because you start sketching with the wrong brush on the wrong image on, on the wrong file size, you're going to notice a really big difference. So, you can make your artwork as clean as you want. And as you saw from my previous artwork, uh, I have gone from staying in the lines to doing all sorts of crazy artwork now. I I've realized that art is going to be something that's in your style. It's going to represent the mood you're in at the time. Uh, and even when it comes to comic book drawing, yes, you have to stay within some guidelines. But it doesn't bother me as much now. I feel like it gives the art piece a bit more of a character. And I, and, and I love that. Uh, it's so important that I can be... It's my artwork. Uh, it's going to satisfy you at the end of the day. If you're getting it to the standard that you want it in, then make sure you're happy about that, guys. Don't let anybody or anything discourage you when it comes to, oh, uh, you can get feedback and you can get opinions. At the end of the day, it's your art piece. You you, 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 you decide and be happy with that. The, the, the world we live in right now it is a very cold, dark place. And yes... You're going to get your bad parts and negativity in there. But if you love art and you want to practice art, uh, you'll find this deep relaxation in it. And that moment to take you away from the world, guys, is, is so important. Uh, I've learned that over the years. Uh, art keeps me calm, takes me away from the world we're in and it's a difficult one at the moment with COVID happening at the moment. So I hope you guys are all well and safe and keeping healthy. Uh, the most important part is keeping healthy. Guys, wow, some questions come through. Let's do this, let's do this. Uh, do, 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 do. Henry, give me a shout, dude. You can see my my Instagram at in the corner there, uh, drop me a message or drop me an email. You, my email is linked to that account as well. And let's talk, man. Let's talk comics because I love them.
I have uh, David. I have a lot of ideas, but sometimes find it hard to get it on the page. Uh, have you thought about doing a Kickstarter comic to help fund the series? Uh, David, I haven't thought about that yet. Uh, a lot of people have actually asked me if I'm going to start something up like that. Uh, it is something that I am looking into and I'm hoping if I find out more, I will let you guys know. It'll be You guys will know. my The first place I kind of announce things is on Instagram. So... If you follow me on Instagram, you'll find out if I do start a Kickstarter page. Uh, with David, to help you with uh, ideas, honestly. As I said, get that notepad, man, and just scribble away. And sometimes I've realized when I'm on a call at work or when I'm, when I'm doing a consultation with a client that I will doodle. I do listen, but I will doodle. And then while I'm doodling, doodling on that note notepad i i realized that i have an idea that's come up and it could be something small it doesn't have to be amazing as long as it can represent what i want to do then that's the important part for me so guys with coloring remember it's always dropping the flat colors first and you could use the fill tool the reason why i don't use the fill tool as much is it takes away my my line work and sketching which i which i enjoy the most about drawing is doing the line work and the sketching part of it there we go so what do we do do dark blue hair for the hair it always does have a kind of a bluish tint to it uh layers guys i'm always going to remind you about layers here we go let's get in a bit closer uh, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work on something else straight after, as it is my favorite character. As he is one of my favorite characters. I'm gonna do a Batsy one for you guys. Uh, what do you think, guys? While you guys are in the chat, do you guys want the the laser red eyes for Soupy for Soups, or do you want me to give him his blue eyes? Let me know in the comments, guys. Oh, sorry, in the live chat. All right, as you can see, I have dropped my flat colors. And exciting times. All right, all right, here we go. We've got more questions here. Uh, I do interior design. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Kickstarter. It just, uh, that's understandable. And yep, yep, pronounce my name right. I use Firepika, it's because it's free. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, do you use Photoshop mask? I always find it complicated or tiresome. Henry, as you can see in my layers, as I said, using mask is really good uh, and it does help layer the image itself. But as a person who uses paper and pencil all the time still, I tend to just keep each layer separately and then I use the transparency between all of them to go for it. Uh, okay. Frida, I do interior design. I'm trying to learn how to do my illustrations better, such as people. I prefer, I do prefer Photoshop. I find Illustrator tedious and complex sometimes. Uh, it is, dude. That's why I never went to the to the to that side i have always stuck on photoshop or procreate which helps out massively henry i will not warmed up to illustrator as i would like illustrator is a, it's a difficult one guys you have to take some time into it but remember if it's something that you're passionate about then you're going to do it anyway and it's so important that don't let don't let a software stop you from passion uh, and if you could if it's something that is needed and you want to learn it, then go for it. If not, I'm going to stick to Photoshop. I'm happy with Photoshop. All right, so uh, everybody's agreed to red laser eyes. Cool. Red laser eyes. Everybody wants red laser eyes. Cool. Uh, let me add in the shading because this is where the image starts to stand out and pop. Uh, David, I can try and help you get, get in touch with Marvel and DC. And his manager has become friends with... Hope you for future work. David, 
<laughs> so yeah, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, that's that. That'd be awesome. That'd be good. Give me a shout. Let me know. Drop me a message on Instagram. Oh man, that tea's gone cold. Sorry guys. All right, let me bring my beautiful face back so you guys can see me geek out. Uh, I'm going to show you some of my favorite comic books. Actually, let's uh, transition to second screen. Because I did say I'm going to add layers. So I'm going to add layers, and then I'm going to show you some of my favorite comic books. And books that inspired me when it came to doing artwork as well. So I'm going to give you guys those tips. Uh, let me add some shade into Soup's hair. And go from there, guys. Uh, a massive thank you for everybody who's joined in. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, guys, make sure you guys go follow Punch Records uh, and Gallery 37. They're the guys that put this together. Uh, I can't thank them enough uh, for giving me this opportunity to share my my passion in comic books and comic book artwork. It's just, uh, it's, it's absolutely amazing. And you know what? While I'm doing this, I need to get the picture for the gram, right? There we go. If you wanted to see the setup, guys, uh, check out my Instagram page, and it's in one of my stories, and you'll get to see it. All right, don't want to get distracted. Let's drop in the shading. All right, so. With the shading, I'm gonna use a slightly softer brush. I've opened up a new layer, and that layer is gonna be on top of the colors. Uh, I'm going to do a little test now, so it's going to be like a dark grey brush size of 35, let's see how that comes out, there we go, that's worked out nicely. What I'm going to do guys, just imagine the light coming from this side, in front of Soups, kind of right to the right hand side, left hand side sorry. So all the shading is going to go around here, it's so important to get that to remember that because it helps when it comes to doing shading now people like doing it when they're inking like I've done on the hair uh, but because we're working with layers I am going to use a soft brush and drop in the shading myself and depending on what equipment you're using The Wacom works with pressure, so the darker the lines, the harder I push on the on on the actual pen, it gives me darker lines. Now, I'm not really liking that, so I'm going to go up and get a better brush that's a bit more harsh to get the lines I want, and give it that. This is where that comic book feel jumps in. And I'm working with the lighting that's coming up on that side. So he's got his little bum chin. He's got shading underneath the nose, a bit on here, around here. Ah, uh, yes, you guys wanted laser eyes. I'll get that in there. So this is just shading around the eyes, head. Remember I said at the beginning of the video, practice all your lines. Uh, this helps massively when it comes to uh, cross-hatching and sketching. And as you can see, the lines are quite harsh right now. But don't worry about that. Just keep watching what I'm doing. Uh, that will change dramatically. Sorry guys, I would have had some music playing in the background, but YouTube pretty tough. You saw a little mistake there. You can always rectify that. I'm gonna keep that Superman pumping very bright. I love that. So as I said guys, I'm gonna do two sketches. I'm gonna do one on Batman as well. Uh, I've had this idea on my head today. I was like, I want to share with you guys something on the spot that came into my head that I wanted to share with you guys. So 
I'm looking forward to that. Guys, remember, you're seeing me squiggle all sorts of lines here. This is my style of artwork, so. This is what I do to make my image pop and what I like about what I do. You will find your way uh, and, and honestly, take your time. Don't rush. You'll find your idea and you're going to be you're going to love it when you do so here we go guys i'm going to multiply and drop the transparency on this say about there we go about 27 percent so what you're going to notice on the screen that it goes down and then i'm going to drop some white highlights so i'm going to again with this one i'm going to drop a softer brush get to the white open up a new window go down the shadow we're going to drop some highlights guys now highlights make your image pop. Remember I said that the lighting was coming around from this side. Now I'm dropping that light for that. And again I'm going to change the transparency on that as well. I'm going to add another layer guys and I'm going to go in with slightly so with that last layer that white layer I'm going to drop the opacity down a bit and then I'm going to go in with a new layer I'm going to get a bit of a harsher brush and I'm going to take the brush size down a little bit and then I'm going to give it harsher lines so you can tell where I'm doing that. Guys, if I go silent, let me know. I'm just getting into the drawing. I'm going to drop that opacity down on that. There we go. Okay, so as we agreed, laser red eyes. Let's do this. All right, another layer. Let's go for like a darker red. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is change my brush again. Let's see. Mm, that looks too much of a blood red. Let's change it slightly brighter. Get the brush. So one good thing about Photoshop you can do, which is pretty cool. So let's let's do this. So add another layer. Gonna drop color. I'm going to drop black background. So guys, what I'm doing right now is I've dropped the black background, but I'm selecting all the layers and I'm going to press control T and I'm going to onto that go back oh I don't want that there we go control T make it bigger drop it lower oh what happened there drop it lower just to fill the image up I am gonna drop 
some clouds in the background so I'm going to pick another brush Thanks, bud. Let's drop. So, in the filter section, I am going to go to render, lens flare, and I am going to drop. lens flare behind soups so as you can see the image popped out and I'm gonna do something interesting here let's see if I can get this right it's red I'm gonna go to filter and drop in a lens flare on the image oh. I'm doing a selected item. So guys, what I'm going to try and do, if I can get it right, I'm going to try and add a lens flare for Superman's eyes. I want to get it in the right place. But what I'm going to do is going to put a gradient map on there. what the gradient map is going to allow me to do is change the color of it boom now that's going to make let me if I got it right that's right screen here we go, and we have got ourselves some Superman red eyes. Hold on. And I'm going to copy that layer and drop it on the other side. So, enter. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm going to drop that opacity so we can get rid of some of the lines, as you can see. Maybe go into overlay. Uh, not overlay. Just working with the layers, guys. So, what I'm going to do, try and get rid of some of that the harsh lines, the red lines, because the lines stop when the lens flare come out. I'm going to try and get rid of that. I've just done that, and then I'm going to do the same on this side. So you just get a brush and you change the, the opacity level and kind of blur it. And hopefully that makes sense. Uh, it does. Uh, so when you add a layer, can you choose whether you want to color or draw on top of that? On top and the bottom? Yes, you can do. That's fine. You can do that at all. Okay. You know what, guys? I'm going to move on to the next image. Uh, but that was the basic layout from something that's kind of like a basic sketch into... 
uh, an imagery. Uh, let me do this. Bring it in closer so you guys can see it. Mm. All right, one more thing to do. I'm gonna add. Red laser eyes, his pupils are shown. Bit of feedback. There we go, man. That's uh, soups with laser red eyes. Oh, I'm excited to share that. All right, cool. So, as I said, that was a Joker piece I did yesterday. A Batman piece. Let's close some of these files. Save. Always remember to click save that's so important david uh hopefully what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop them up onto my instagram page and hop them into my etsy store or i'll, I'll let you guys know if i've got prints available for these but yeah definitely so the last thing an artist does which is probably my favorite bit Is drop his signature. How important is that on an image? Man, guys, I'm actually overwhelmed by everybody who's joined today. Uh, and I can't say, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, the overwhelming messages I got on social media the past couple of days has been absolutely awesome. Uh, and me being able to share my passion with you guys is so important. And it's just to get you guys in the groove of finding your 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 passion, your, your, your happiness in comic book artwork and illustration. And finding easier ways of doing it as well. Because what you're going to learn in the process is that took me probably less than... 30 minutes that you'd be able to do a cool drawing like that in 30 minutes and have it ready to print or post or share with fat friends and family and get excited about it and that's that's one of the fundamental things that i get excited about is being able to do artwork and then share it with friends and family and get their feedback on it so i absolutely love the fact that you guys have had the chance to come join me and do this uh, i'm going to start on another drawing I'm going to do a quick Q&A section, as I said, around 7.30, 7.45. Uh, but I'm going to jump straight into the next image and show you guys another layout of something really quick. Uh, something really uh, dynamic to look at and something probably you want to print out and put up on your own wall just to be excited about. Uh, I did tell you that I got to meet Jim Lee. I've got to meet so many several artists. A couple of years back, I was lucky enough to meet... Uh, John Romita Jr., Frank Miller, Andy Kubert, uh, and so many other artists that came to the UK. I genuinely miss Comic Cons. It's, it's one of my places where I get to geek out with friends and family and meet all my friends there as well. Uh, I'm, it's upsetting that we didn't get to see or have a Comic Con last year with, with the current crisis at the moment, and I don't think we'll see one in a while. But it was, yeah. It's an emotional one. When you get to meet the artists that you love and you grew up with, uh, you realise how much uh, they play a part, their artwork, their comics play a part in your world. Uh, I didn't realise 15 years of coming out of the comic book industry and coming out of artwork that I'd be able to come to a point now where I get to share my artwork online, but get to share my passion with you guys and 
yeah, it's it's been it's it's been a great journey. So here we go, comic books, guys, and books to help you out when it comes to drawing. So many. Uh, do, 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 do. Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby. Stan Lee. There we go. Alex Ross. And Jim Lee. Alright, there we go. These books are heavy. Oh, hopefully, I don't drop it. Oh. Alright, let's go through the first book. <coughs> Let me grab a quick drink. Before I start my next piece, which won't take too long, guys, we'll be able to do a Q&A session straight after. Going to go through this. So this here is Jim Lee's Icons. Uh, this, oh my God, this book is absolutely amazing. And guys, if you don't follow Jim Lee on Instagram or Twitch, this guy is like, the guy who draws Batman. Look at, let me see. look at this guy. So my uncle took massive inspiration from his artwork and his detail and the way he draws. Guys, there's one thing that he always preaches about being about practicing and when it comes to getting your own style is get a mirror and when you're trying to learn how to draw faces, draw your own face. I mean, I know Superman. I don't have that jaw that Superman's got, but it was something that really helped me when it came to placing the actual objects and shapes is so important and Jim Lee talks about that in his book so check that out that's one book uh, which inspires me I, I look at it from time to time another one famous artist named Alex Ross now his work is out of this world is realism with a super hero fantastic look to it it's absolutely amazing uh this is another book with his artwork his process what he goes through look this guy uses so if you can see there that's a toy model that he sketches from now that is really important when it comes to doing drawings you can buy little models i've got a few hanging around that i could look for reference and put a light next to it and work out shading and yeah it's it's, it's key guys the next one is an artist who's not with us at the moment, uh, Darwin Cook. I wish I got to meet him. I got to meet Jim Lee. Alex Ross is next on my list to meet. But Darwin Cook, he is an absolutely wonderful artist. His simplistic lines and colours. And the way he tells a story with his artwork is just... It's, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And his line work is just gorgeous. There's another artist, I don't have a book of his. His name is Des Taylor. He's another amazing artist that does uh, comic book artwork as well. There's another one, Jack Kirby. Uh, this is Pencils and Inks, guys. This is a, a really good book about Jack Kirby, the king of comics. His journey in with Marvel and DC. Uh, and it's got most of his pencil sketches in here. And I always look at this book for references. Dynamic... <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going. I've been talking for almost over an hour. Sorry, guys. Uh, dynamic figure drawing. Uh, guys, I know, as you were talking about, is it Ijaz? Sorry if I got the name wrong. This book is going to help massively when it comes to drawing figures. Check it out, it's uh, really important for dynamic poses. And then, Vanishing Point, this talks about backgrounds and your perception when you're drawing on a on a page and you're going to see that on my next drawing that's what i'm going to try and uh teach the process of that as well and then the one and only never got to meet the dude i wish i did uh i wish i didn't have it i have a little bit of a regret that i didn't get the chance to meet this dude but he will always live on in my world uh, and that's the great stanley 
how to draw Marvel comics. Guys, it's one of probably the biggest books when it comes to laying out and artwork. And he, they, you get all the tips and tricks uh, when it comes to cropping images and how much work you put into it. It's so important. Uh, they talk about backgrounds and putting scenery into the image. And I'm going to show you some of that in the next art piece. So let's transition to the next screen. Guys, if you want to see more of my artwork, and I do live video streams on there as well when it comes to doing artwork on my Wacom or in my notepad, uh, check it out. Ask questions there. I'm always there to give tips. I'm going to go grab some water, guys. Give me a second. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Sorry, guys. I really had to quickly uh, grab some water. My throat was killing me there for a moment. Let's take another picture for the gram. Sorry, guys. I'm doing this while I'm live. That's so rude of me. Guys, I'm still going to thank you lot for all joining. You, you guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the next sketch I'm going to do. So let's save this one soups i'm gonna have that up on my instagram guys save that guys you just saw a bad habit that i do there i don't name my files make sure you name your files so it's easy to find i've got a few windows open like that those lines gestures remember you have a bunch of these ready you're going to be ready to do the next art piece so just trying to work out what gesture I can use for the next image all right you know what guys I'm gonna use a gesture hopefully the idea stays the same and where we are gonna go Straight into the next art piece. So, if you guys have got any questions, fire away, guys. Don't be, don't be, don't be afraid. Uh, apologies if I get names wrong. And here we go. Here's a gesture. Let's see if I get this right. So guys, I'm picking a light color and I'm picking my favorite brush. You can use the pencil tool if you wanted. Uh, I'm not gonna use that. I am gonna try uh, something different. I did have an original pose there, but now I'm gonna try something completely different. But uh, let's give that a go so you guys can see the idea I go for. So autonomy, as I said, having these gestures ready speeds up the process of drawing. So even if you do loads of gestures on a piece of paper, scan that piece of paper in like I have. Or you could download them, guys. We live in a digital era now where you can just download uh, gestures, but then you can add your own, own style to it. And remember, that's the main part of it, is adding your own creative skill to it. Remember, Photoshop, Illustrator, will allow you to do so much to manipulate the image to make it your own. There we go, that's a... Hopefully 
hopefully you guys can see that. So that's a quick Batman sketch. gonna look like scribbles now guys but you'll see what I do now I've dropped a new layer in to do the actual artwork on top so that will have tight lines on it and the as you can see I've, I've done the moon here so I'm gonna do something in reverse for you guys which eventually you guys will learn this in in your time when it comes to doing artwork and sometimes you have to work kind of backwards so you're gonna see that now you're gonna be like kibbs what the hell are you doing but because of the imagery that i want to work with right now i'm hoping it does the job I'm just picking the brush size. This is where the illustration part kicks in, guys. Because now I'm working with shapes. So, shapes is going to be really important. I'm just going to change my brush again. Get back into that. So it's soft. Get back into that. Uh, I'm gonna work with some lines here. It's gonna be building. Guys, remember try and study images as well. It's so important that you guys get the chance to do that. Uh, it will make your artwork pop and shine. Now I'm gonna zoom in. And originally I wanted the bats there, but I feel like the bats are going to take me away from the drawing. Now, pick the right brush you want. I'm going to go in tight with the line. So, you guys are going to find this really weird, guys, that I'm, I'm, I'm doing it this way. But, trust me, if the imagery comes out right, it's going to look awesome.
Everybody must be like, what the hell is Kibbs doing right now? And I'm hoping you guys will get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. So I'm trying to make it very easy for you guys that you can work with just certain lines in an image to get the art piece you want. And you're going to start seeing me rub out some of this as well just so that you can see what I'm working with with the black background. Guys, remember, I'm freestyling right now, and it could come out wrong, but I'm hoping it comes out alright, but uh, this is where the magic's going to start happening, hopefully. sure if you can see that <laughs> it's getting there I think I need to change something now all right sometimes you will have to adapt to a situation just to get the idea you want. Now, sorry, guys, I'm in the zone right now, so have some questions ready for me. I think this sketch is going to go into the Q&A, but I will multitask because I want to be able to, if you guys got some burning questions regarding, well, anything, let me know and I will answer them. My little girl's birthday tomorrow and she's already singing happy birthday. Hopefully you guys are seeing the idea. So I'm going for something really simple here. And I'm letting, sh excuse me, shapes and colors do the work for me. So I don't have to implement so many lines in the image. Uh, I'm gonna go in there with a darker detail. Let's go change the background a little bit, add some darker cloudy effect in there.
steak, steak. What's happening there? What I'm going to do now, guys, with uh, uh, like a, a grey, I'm going to go in there with a brush and I'm going to start adding some like shadow details. So originally I used the white. I can see that the white contrast has made it a bit too much. I'm going to go into the background a bit and add the grey elements on top to kind of tone it down a bit so it doesn't look so sharp. And the brush size is humongous. Let's get back to this. Add a new layer so it will tone it down a little bit, give it a bit of a background merger. And guys, remember, I'm letting the lines do the work for me. Uh, that's over the years when you realize, well, you know what, it could take a couple of months if you're drawing five, ten minutes a day, then you'll find ways of making your image pop and you'll notice. When you're making mistakes and like i have during this live stream nothing is perfect i'm gonna make mistakes uh i try to be ambitious and try something different and i would have said yes this backfired on me it didn't come out exactly the way i want but i'm working with it and as you can see um, Hopefully, adding the detail to here now will change the imagery a bit because now I'm adding a different type of shade to this so nose, chin, mistake, neck, jaw, that symbol. Chest will be here. His utility belt. Chest. So as you can see, that shade in grey. For me personally, it's done the job, and it's made it a bit more abstract does that make sense okay let's find the details here let's fix this up a bit shoes a bit of heel it's knees Batman wears bat trunks. Knees. Bit of a bend there. So that's your perspective. And heels.
You know what? I am starting to like how that's looking now. And I'm not sure if you guys can see what I've gone for in this one. It's 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 I'm really enjoying that. Uh there we go. David, can we get prints? Of course you can, dude. As soon as I get up on my Instagram, I'll let you guys know uh, what I'll have available for prints and let you guys know. The bottom one, then you can do flash. Flash? Yeah, I will do, definitely. Uh, what was the first comic you've done? Uh, it was an independent comic. Uh, if I can find it. Uh, let's find my some of my comic book work. There we go. find it so it's one of the characters hopefully you can see that I'll, I'll, I'll put what I'll do in my Q&A session I'm going to show you that it's got some of my artwork it was for an independent comic co company uh, it was uh, just my first ever comic book character I was a character called Jazz uh, he was like a hitman in a comic book it was my first cover uh, and it was a mixture of paper, pencil, and pen. And paint, sorry. So I used paint on that one. So that was one. Uh, do, 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 do. would love to see you draw a Deathstroke picture. I will eventually draw one. Uh, Bradley, how do you stay motivated to finish a design instead of moving on to the next one with the last one half done? Bradley. Uh, wow. Uh... you know what that is a really a hard question you know i really genuine genuinely just persevere like persevere forward i kind of push forward i don't kind of like letting i can't i'm that person that gets things done that's my issue uh i know if i've got a project on i want to finish that work the thing is i've got so many unfinished jobs well not jobs but client well not even client work I've got so many projects my personal projects that I haven't been able to finish off because I've been doing clients works and that's where sometimes it can get deep everybody's gonna have their bad days uh, there's gonna be days where you you won't be wanting to do any artwork and you're you're down in the dumps uh, but if it's a passion project you will be able to strive and push forward and get that piece of work done. Uh, I've always seen it as I'm a an, I'm a I'm an early person. I get up quite early. I like to prep my day, so I want to know what artwork I'm going to be doing on that day as well. So I really try and push forward and get loads of tasks done during the day, so at least I know that I've got things done basically uh but it's a hard one because we all have our bad days uh it's never it's never an easy it's never an easy road but my little girl i wake up in the morning get my my morning cuddle and then i i, I push forward i mean at the end of the day it it's uh my bread and it's my bread it's my bread money <laughs> it's my food i need to feed uh, and survive but it's passion uh, the main thing of it is passion it's always uh, I have a love for this fantasy world and I love where it's taken me on my journey uh, and, I'm, and I hope that it can take other people on that journey as well there we go just changing the colour on this but yeah hopefully I haven't waffled and babbled on I just try to keep positive uh, and motivated as much as I can oh damn look at that something interesting just happened there there we go drop that 
so you guys when you play with layers something amazing can happen which just did and I actually kind of like that because if I zoom out it gives it a bit of a red tint but what I do want is I want to get rid of so let's let's bring that back to normal hmm. lighten you can see the details yeah guys I didn't realize it's 740 if you guys have some questions I want to thank everybody that stayed on the stream you guys are absolutely awesome I cannot thank you enough and again I, I can't th thank the guys at punch records you guys are absolutely awesome uh, gallery 37 for putting this together uh, it's been such a pleasure to try and share my passion my artwork and this is my first stream on a two-hour base to try and go through as much as I can I probably missed out some things so if you guys have questions uh, hit me up on Instagram which is Kibla Ahmed Art. make sure you're following the guys at Punch Records they're doing some great things at the moment and they've got so many good master classes uh, check them out it will inspire you and that's what we're here to do uh, let's see what we've got any questions coming happy birthday to little one thanks bud uh, Kibs it's been awesome Ahmed thank you so much bro uh, it means the world uh, thanks for everybody else who's joined in. I haven't finished. I'm going to continue doing this sketch. If you guys have questions, please drop drop, drop that message. Drop that message. Uh, but I'm not going to come off this. Well, I'm going to continue on this sketch. But I do need dinner, guys. I am starving. I wonder what you guys are having for dinner. Have you had dinner? Have you been having dinner while you watch this? Ugh. Nice. <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be. What's the word? I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna do something crazy. Let's see if this works. But yeah, guys, remember, practice, practice, practice is so important. Practice is so important. That that plays a big part. There's one thing with digital you can do and have so much fun with is you can get to play around with the actual image itself. Like right now, I tried something very daring and unusual because I did have something else planned but because I was freestyling and going with the flow I ended up creating something different and I'm actually really happy with the way this sketch has come out it's something so basic it's something so easy you can do but once you see it like on a print or just even looking at it on a computer screen you just get excited and and that's the main thing uh Ahmed Tara Masalata you taking the piss <laughs> you cracked me up uh, I'm about to have a I'm, a I'm about to have brunch so Habib you had tar uh, roast potatoes and Tara Masalata that is awesome dude uh would you be would you be doing a comic con next year Bradley I'm hoping if I get a table I would do that uh I'm definitely going to do that just had lamb so oh Making me jealous, man. You're making me jealous. Caroline, thank you for your time. Oh, no, you're welcome. Uh, if I could inspire in different ways, then uh, that's the most important part of it. Uh, and I'm happy to do that. I'm about to have brunch. Henry, where are you based? Looks amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome, dude. Kibbs, you are... Kibbs, are you able to email me the print so I can have as a background on my laptop? Of course I can, Ahmed. I'll get that sent out. Send me an email. Check out my... What do you call it? David, you're having curry go? Oh, no, curry tonight. Sorry. Okay, cool. Sam Harrison. What's with the glove? Also, the city you're based in. Uh, the glove, it helps me from resistance on the screen. So, 
Uh, I usually use it for when I'm doing paper and pencil and paint and sketches so I don't smudge. Uh, but I use it on here because it's just easy to move around on. I've noticed my skin sometimes, this is a touch screen, so my tip, my palm will activate the screen and sometimes that will cause an issue. And I'm based in London, North London. Uh, yeah, cool. Sorry, that was abrupt. I'm going to add something to this, which I said I wanted to do. Let's get the colours right. Dot red. Uh, add it up here. Uh, keep copy. Let's go a bit harsh. Big broad lines. As I said, guys, make sure you follow Punch Records. They've got loads of masterclasses happening at the moment. Uh, they've got a few. I think they've got one coming up next month for producing. Make sure you check that out. That will be an awesome class. I will join in on that one as well. Uh, but they're doing great things. And if we can do loads in this time we're in at the moment to inspire, then I am all for that, guys. So I'd love to... I hope that... I've inspired you in the process of doing this piece uh, and this is something freestyle guys I had something planned for you guys but an idea came to my head and going with your gut feeling is always the best it's always the best always the best feeling so before I go you guys get to see the final image I'm gonna do my signature on it and I'm gonna stay on to eight o'clock to take any other questions. Twenty twenty one. I really hope this inspired you. Let's find a good place. Let's put that there. Really hope it inspired you. This class. Uh, uh, it was such a pleasure. Uh, I really had fun doing this and just freestyling because I get to create this as an idea. Now, as I said, it could take you half an hour to do an amazing piece and it can take you less than an hour. Oh, sorry, more than an hour. It could take eight hours. Sorry, muddling up my words right now. Let me just change this. Let's move the screen. Uh, let's go to my big, beautiful voice. My first stream, oh my God, I'm even proud. I'm telling you guys, small goals. If you have small goals to do drawing every five minutes a day, reading a comic book or copying somebody's artwork, uh, it's all about doing little goals, little things that you can achieve. And I'm telling you, you will have so much fun. Uh, oh, we've got here, we've got Sam Harrison, based in London. Tasman, hold tight, kids and punch yeah man 100 percent. big up punch records thank you so much guys for having me on here and share my passion with you guys uh bradley gut feeling over gut feeling over everything yeah definitely definitely thank you kibler this was really awesome carl you're the best man thank you so much uh ahmed proud of you kibs went really well thank you so much ahmed uh layla Thank you so much for spending this time with me. You guys are absolutely awesome. You guys made this happen. Uh, honestly, you guys put the time in. Uh, you guys, I'm telling you, little goals. It's, it's something that I preach. It's all about writing a list on the wall. Like I have, look. I wrote a list on the wall. And I said, I'm going to go through all of this. I'm going to go through my story. I'm going to let you guys know what I do. I'm going to let you know my process. And guys, this is not like the end of it. I want to do more like this. And hopefully you guys at Punch Records get in contact with me. <laughs> uh, but write a list down. It's, it's small goals. Write a list down. Write down that I want to draw 10 minutes a day and copy an image or... I don't know, just little details. Draw lips, draw nose, draw eyes, draw hands, draw feet. 
Uh, as you can see there, naturally doing a pose, as I said, gesture pose. If you could do gesture poses all day, that's another thing to do as well. And then creating, guys. Implementing your ideas is so important, without a doubt. Whether it's published or non-published, self-goals are so important. And for me personally, like reading comic books, is it's always been about hope always been about hope and if you can have hope in the things you want to do and believe in that as well you are going to achieve it guys this is my biggest achievement is getting this storybook done for my little girl uh, it means the world to me and i'm going to get more done and you guys will see more artwork as well and hopefully in the big leagues as well uh, i've done work for independent comic book companies i've done some work for big companies but to level it down, to humble yourself, uh, to go for the goals and reach for them, you're going to have so much fun, I'm telling you. But, you know the other things, I've still got them on my goal. One cover for DC, one cover for Marvel. I will be a happy man, definitely, without a doubt. Uh, who else is on here? Create, not destroy. Great job, thank you so much. Have you thought about doing tattoo designs? David, uh, I think... I did a couple of designs for a friend in Hong Kong. His name's George. Shout out to George in Hong Kong. Uh, I did a samurai one. I don't think I can. It's probably in the loft. But I did a samurai one, which I, I, I'm quite happy about. And that was one that Des Taylor saw. Des Taylor's another amazing artist for DC. Uh, so yeah, tattoos. I mean, it's difficult when it comes to the style of art that I do. Because tattoos, I think, is more of a fine detail piece of art. Now, my Batman image you saw earlier on in the show, probably be really good tattoo. But something like this, it's more of an art piece, avant-garde. You know, something you can stick up, maybe. Front cover. It's going to be one of them. Uh, ah, there we go. So that picture of Jazz for an independent comic book I did is based on a hitman. This is that character. But this is my paper pencil work and I did that with paint as well. Kali, thank you for joining. Uh, it means the world. I've got uh, some more here. So this is like some paper and pencil artwork that I've done. Spidey, black and white. We've got Star Wars. got Bruce Lee so guys remember ideas these are ideas from years ago like you know I put them together Daredevil uh, Cyclops Superman Rogue I even did one of uh, John Wick so that's one let me just quickly grab one more art piece because I know I'm cutting it, cutting it tight Guys, this is the book that started my journey of 10 years ago, 15 years of out of being out of it, uh, and I started drawing again. And before I jumped into digital, this is the artwork that got me back into things again. Sorry, I've got that squashed on my face. And this is a mixed media of paint, acrylic paint, watercolors, uh, felt tip markers, copper markers, uh, prisma colors, and yeah, mixture of Marvel and DC characters. Uh, Storm, one of my favorite characters. Uh, Wonder Woman, you've got Jon Stewart as Green Lantern, Bishop, Iron Man, you've got Storm and Black Panther. So these, the two pack, that's one of my favorites as well. Spider Man. So these are images that, you know, on piece of paper taking my time and just drawing away Poison Ivy, Adam West. So these are like really, these images are quite close to me because these are images that got me on my journey, got me into digital uh, and kind of fell in love with it from there. And digital has changed my artwork dramatically as well, whether it's detail or coloring. It helped me with coloring and understanding coloring as well. So. 
Black Panther, Rogue, one of my favourites. Oh man, this brings back memories looking at this. The Punisher, Furiosa. Whew, some memories. Mighty McFly, I'm a big massive Back to the Future fan as well. You'll see that all over my Instagram. Nothing about Back to the Future, The Predator. Yeah, I guys, I do genuinely still love drawing on paper and pencil. Sometimes I scan them in and then make them look a bit more different when I when it comes on the graphics tablet. But yeah, no, some good times. Definitely some good times. Muhammad Ali. Oh damn, this has got some good memories on here. Scarlet Witch. You guys looking forward to watching Wonder Vision? No, I am. Very excited. That's tomorrow. Oh man. Ah, emotional. This was absolutely amazing. Uh, you guys are awesome. I, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank the guys. I can thank the guys. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can. I can oh, I'm getting my words all mixed up. I'm so sorry. This is the last bit. Thank you to Punch Records for putting this together. I really hope you enjoyed this and this inspired you and motivated you. Uh, and to reach small goals. To reach the bigger goal. Uh, and we're always going to be pushing forward and that, that's that's the main key of it guys make sure you're always pushing forward you are going to be able to do things that you would never believe and i've got to do things in my journey that i would never thought i'd go through and people i've met and like most of them funko pops are signed by my favorite artists uh, that's another part of the story i haven't added in there but guys make sure you follow punch records on instagram twitter Follow their YouTube page. Subscribe that button. Smash that like button. It helps. Drop in comments helps. I'm telling you. If you guys are watching this video later. Uh, yeah. Help the page grow. Uh, and then check out my page guys. Kibla Ahmed Art on Twitter. TikTok. YouTube. Instagram. Facebook. Uh, LinkedIn. Uh, all my artworks there. My whole journey is on there guys. Uh, my family's journey. Uh, I'm really proud to have uh, presented this class today uh, and I can't thank you guys enough you guys have been absolutely awesome uh, always giving thanks always grateful uh, for having chances and opportunities like this and uh, I hope you guys on your art journey your illustration journey uh, get to experience some of the great things that I've got to do and uh, yeah check it out check my Instagram and my, 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 my uh, Twitter and my Facebook page most of my geeky stuff is always up on there and uh, I'm going to go right to the two hour mark and then I'm going to press end session. Uh, but yeah, programs I use, Photoshop, Procreate on the iPad. I use a Wacom 22 inch Cintiq Touch uh, that comes with the Ergo stand I, I got separately and this uh, device, <laughs> forgot the name for this device. Uh, which is like a control tool which helps me go backwards if I've made a mistake or zoom into the image or the iPad guys with an Apple Pencil I use a 7th gen iPad which I still love it still gives me great quality images I do need to get the Apple Pro that will that will help massively uh, but the more jobs that come through you know eventually you get the things you want and the products you need to do your art but remember you could do anything with a simple piece of paper and a notebook and this is where ideas you know that inception grows that seed in your head and before you know it an image grows and ideas and dreams come true guys thank you so much have a wonderful evening and I catch you guys up soon one love peace